Hi, this is Handy and welcome to Anna's Tutorials. This is a tutorial about ZB. And previously, I have uh, started a ZB cluster using Docker Compose. And it's running uh, four containers from ZB, Upgrade, Elasticsearch, and Kibana. And I've deployed uh, a workflow called order process from the tutorial and now what I want to do is continue with the tutorial and that is to create an instance okay create and complete the instance okay create and complete a workflow instance what what we mean by instance here is not uh, uh, like a, a node or uh, a VM instance, but an instance of a workflow. Okay, so let's see that we are going to create two workflow instances, one with an order value of less than $100. It's because in the workflow, uh, by default, uh, the order will be shipped without insurance, but if the order is greater than $100, then it will be shipped with insurance. This is why that we will test it using two workflow instances. Okay. So let's go to the terminal and execute this command. Okay. Let's see. So I'll go here and insecure create instance order process using these variables in JSON order ID 134 and I have an order value of 99 so 99 is almost 100 uh, but it's still less than 100 okay okay so the workflow instance is there okay and as the tutorial says that we will see a response like this and then um, okay and we'll also create another instance where okay the thing is that uh, let, let me check whether this is greater than 100 or okay I will check the flow here okay so it's actually it should be greater or equal than 100 okay because the order value here is like this okay so just to make it uh, much more specific right okay so I think I will want to uh, redeploy that just so I get a, okay, a proper version of this okay okay this is version one uh, okay so seems that it still it still doesn't update the version there is no like version 2 let me refresh this okay so there is version 2 here this is version 1 uh, I think that it's a way to delete this okay okay so I'm trying to delete cancel this instance okay so uh, after I deployed uh, there are two versions now so the latest version is version 2 and this has the, the correct label okay so I'll go back to tutorial and I will create the instance with the uh, $99 value okay and I 
as you can see here um, I think I should refresh this first okay there is a new instance here and then I need to create another instance with uh, order value of 100 okay Let me just change this okay so uh, that means I should have a uh, instance one is the $99 and one is the $99 should be this one and the $100 should be this one okay and as you can see here uh, two instances are in this step uh, are in this service task okay yep you can see this and can move past this first task and until we create a job worker to complete initiate payment job so that's exactly what we'll do next okay to make this point again in a real world use case you probably won't manually create workflow instances using zdcli rather a workflow instance would be created programmatically in response to some business events such as a message sent to zd after a customer places an order and instances might be created at a very large scale if for example many customers were placing orders at the same time due to sale we are using the CLI here just for simplicity's sake we have two instances currently waiting at our initiate payment task which means that ZB has created two jobs with type initiate payment ZB CPL provides a command to spawn a simple job workers using an external command or script the job worker will receive the payload for every job as a JSON object on standard input and must also return its result as JSON object on standard output if it handled the job successfully. In this example, we will also use the Unix command chat, which just outputs what it receives on standard input. Okay, so okay, so let's use this one. Uh, okay, handle find still okay. Let's go there and here create worker initiate payment handle times the app okay so this job is handled by this worker let's see um, okay now after clicking this it's the instances have moved on to payment received right okay so it's no longer here but move on to here because we have created a worker okay. and I'm curious what happens here okay nice order place initiate payment okay So next, we can see that the job worker activated then completed the two available initiate payment jobs. You can shut down the worker if you like, you won't need it. Okay, I will shut down. And then go to the browser tab uh, to the uh, message get even. Yeah, that's true. They are here. And it will wait until a message is received by ZB and correlated to the instances. Messages can be published using ZB clients, and it's also possible for ZB to connect to message queues such as Kafka and correlate messages published there to workflow instances. ZB CTL also supports message publishing, so we'll continue to use it in our demo. Okay, so let's publish. Okay, so the correlation key is order ID. Okay, so let me check that this message. Okay, um, let's go back. Okay, the payment receipt. 
space here. Okay. Uh, okay, there is no explanation about this uh, message event. So let me remind by using the modeler that in this message, in this uh, intermediate message cast event, the message name must be payment received and the correlation key is based on the order ID variable. Okay, so that means now we can uh, publish a message with the name payment received and the correlation key is based on the order ID. Okay, so let's do it. Set the control insecure uh, publish message payment received and the correlation key is one two three four. And this is the first ah, uh, and uh, I did it wrong previously. Okay, but let's just see what happens. Okay, so you can see here that one message, uh, one instance is going there, and this instance is still stuck there. I think this is because ZB only processes one instance for one uh, published message. Okay, so to make it uh, better, I will ensure that the instance here is cancelled. I don't want it to uh, ruin the situation so uh, I will create a new instance the $100 one is uh, using the correlation key of 2, 3, 4, 5 That means now I have this uh, one, uh, the two, three, four, five, still initiate payment. That means I need to create a worker to initiate payment. Okay, it's working. You can see here that. The initiate payment is now moving to payment received. So I shut down the worker and then I want to publish the message for the 2345. Okay, payment received. Okay, so that means now I should be able to see that the uh, order here has moved to ship without insurance and ship with insurance and one here is order one two three four with order value 99 and the other one is the ship with insurance order two three four five okay so let's go back to the tutorial and okay so what i don't really like about this is that i have to repress operate so uh, i'm actually hoping that this is like uh real time or at least a uh, polling every second or every 10 seconds or so okay but it's okay uh, if you want to refresh just click something and uh, operate will refresh and the good news is that the visualization confirms the logic work as expected. One is here, one is in uh, without insurance, and one is with insurance. And okay, so what to do next? And create a job worker for ship without insurance, and I guess also for ship with insurance. Okay. Okay. So let's do this.
chill with the insurance. Okay, please hang out and then I do another one for ship with insurance. Okay, job is done and then we can see in the Kamunda uh, ZB operate that okay everything is gone now so I would say that's because all of the instances are are gone I guess okay mm, it should not be like gone it should be an order fulfilled yeah okay so oh I see so there is a filter here actually the filter should okay so uh, we can see that the finished instances here I think the tutorial should have mentioned that we need to check the finished oh yeah true okay I didn't read that part okay so when we check that we know that these two instances are completed okay so that's it for the tutorial and I think the next steps or just yeah uh, Java client and a go client so and that's it for the tutorial I want to know if uh, actually my primary language is a uh, JavaScript and TypeScript so I wonder if uh, they do have it okay no JS that's nice No JS, so yeah. Okay. So there is one. Uh, although this is a uh, contributed client, but seems uh, quite active. So this is nice. Okay. So that's it for the complete tutorial for using ZB and operate well i think operate is uh, very good although uh, you can also use a uh, simple monitor and but if you are uh, using it for non-production use uh, then operate is uh, is very good here and if you are using it for production use then you can contact kamunda for enterprise uh, support services okay thank you very much see you on the next tutorial